You know, yesterday I was talking to one of my buddies at the Toronto Reference Library and he mentioned Kevin Spacey. And he said how Kevin Spacey, you know, sort of came out and admitted that he's homosexual. And there was this, um, instead of being authentic, he was sort of like put a little, like a, a little supplementary information out there. Right, so there's this 14 year old boy who said that Kevin Spacey 30 years ago made an advance at him, tried to have sex with him. And um, so Kevin Spacey talked about that incident and then said, oh, by the way, I'm gay. Um, and my friend at the Toronto Reference Library mentioned that instead of Kevin Spacey owning to what he did and owning to the, you know, the crime, the, uh, you know, misdemeanor or, or the, 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 the obscene uh, gesture or, or the obscene action he committed, instead of owning up to that, he kind of uh, overshadowed it. It kind of like over, over arched, arched it with uh, his, his coming out <laughs> publicly. And, and it was really interesting because when he said that, I thought about my relationship with vegan gains. I'm not saying we're gay. <laughs> That's hilarious. But like today in this video, I want to really make it clear about what happened with vegan gains. Cause a lot of people have been asking questions. A lot of people are wondering about why, you know, I, I made this video, vegan gains is a fucking retard. Then I dox public apology to vegan gains. Then a lot of videos about porn addiction where you know, I said he's eating his dog's cum and how he's, you know, I'm coaching him uh, to recover from porn addiction. I wanna make all of that clear and, and kinda come clean, right? Because I don't want any inauthenticity or lack of genuineness moving forward in the channel. Because one thing that we pride ourselves on is authenticity and realness and, and just giving it like it is. So first thing I want to come clear on and, and, and you know just come clean out with is Vegan Gains never called me for a one-on-one -on -one session. That was a joke. I don't know why so many people commented that uh, that that he you know he asked me to coach him on porn addiction recovery. Of course that was a joke. I can't believe people believe that. It's it's un unbelievable. So guys, that was a joke. He never called me to coach him on anything. We have never talked to each other. We've never seen each other live. It's all been on YouTube. So that's the first thing I wanna come clean with. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. The second thing is I want to apologize for anyone that I offended when I talked about um, veganism, right? Now, I'm vegan now for four months and I, I appreciate uh, the fact that you know I'm not involved in killing animals anymore in, in any way in any indirect way I'm not involved in uh, hurting the earth you know hurting hurting mother nature uh, I've been reading all these books about extinctions you know I, I'm reading the sixth extinction which talks about how human beings are the ones who are gonna be the cause of the next extinction which is the sixth right five massive extinctions have happened. The dinosaurs were involved in one of those. Um, and the sixth extinction right now, you know, when you look at global warming, when you look at uh, you know, fossil fuels and uh, all the species that are becoming uh, extinct, I think like 200 species become extinct every day. That's what one of the reports show. And so uh, if you haven't read The Sixth Extinction by Elizabeth Colpert, go read that. It's a very, very, very eye-opening, mind-blowing book. Um, so that's the second thing I want to come out clean with. That look, I, I'm sorry if I offended you when I talked about veganism and I made fun of uh, people who are vegan, like vegan gains, you know, I'm sorry about that. Like honestly, I'm sorry if I offended you. Now, that doesn't mean, uh, I'm not apologizing for calling vegan gains out on stuff, no. I'm not apologizing for the fact that he attacks people and he makes fun of people and he is violent and he has this very negative energy. I'm not apologizing for any of that. I still don't like him for that, right? And I'm, I'm gonna continue to speak my mind about those aspects when I don't like what people do. 
and how people are hurting others in society by what they say. But to you, specifically, if you are a follower, if you are on our Facebook group, Biggest Balls in the Game, Balls with a Z, go add yourself if you're not on that yet. If you are one of our serious action takers, I apologize if I offended you in any way. I never, ever, ever meant to talk bad about veganism, okay? I only have issues with some vegans who give us a bad rap in society. When I tell someone I'm vegan, I'm careful. You know, should I say that or should I say, hey, I follow a whole foods plant-based diet? Because a lot of the times when we say we're vegan, we're telling people what we don't eat rather than what we eat. Because a lot of these motherfucking vegans eat chips and drink Coke all day. You know, they're college students, they're just, you know, just fucking uh, uh, eating potato chips and you don't eat potato chips like that but you know eating potato chips drinking Pepsi and that's all they do and they call themselves vegan fuck off you're not that's just uh, you just don't eat meat dairy and, and eggs but that doesn't mean you're healthy so I want to communicate and network and associate myself with cool vegans hot vegans you know good-looking uh, fun social and loving vegans that's what we want in the world so I want you uh, to when you have when you relate to someone in society be very careful at how you present yourself because you don't want us to get a bad name if you are vegan then present yourself in that way don't be a cunt or a feminist type you know be cool wear cool shit you know be a cool person be fun loving be joking you know have fun with things don't be serious and don't try to like tell people who the fuck you are most of the most of my friends don't even know I'm vegan I don't ever announce it doesn't matter it's not that big a part of my identity I am me right I eat healthy that's what matters forget about the rest so I want to come out uh, clean in terms of look I am sorry if I offended you when I talked about vegan gains uh, in a in a very negative way and if that influenced your opinion of me about what kind of person I am uh, you know I'm not that type of person that those were all jokes you know all those videos are jokes I made an entire thing in Fridays with Farhan episode 3 if you haven't seen that go check that out um, and there I go into details about this all this stuff about what happened with vegan gains and, and what I talked about so go check out Fridays with Farhan episode 3 if you want details on that uh, the other thing I want to cl uh, come clean it, it, at, about and and just like uh, you know be a man about is if I said anything wrong that affected you negatively health wise right so if I said something wrong uh, or if I said something right but you interpreted it it as wrong right so if I said something about saturated fats or cholesterol and you your interpretation was wrong I still apologize for that maybe I didn't make it clear maybe my the way of speaking wasn't clear so content in terms of you know good and bad cholesterol good and bad saturated fats um, how they affect your body and how that relates to veganism how that relates to heart health you know heart disease uh, cancer I'm reading this book how not to die by dr. Michael Greger if you don't know him go follow this guy uh, he has like 300k subscribers on YouTube a lot of people follow him he's amazing and he's my main mentor when it comes to veganism I'm reading everything he writes I'm listening to everything he says I'm watching everything he puts out so uh, Michael if you're watching this thanks a lot man you're doing really really great things for us and keep it up this guy's a fucking gangster man he was on London Reel with Brian Rose I saw that fantastic he's done a Google talk about how not to die his book fantastic so we're gonna try to bring all of Michael Greger stuff in a in a real practical way here maybe I'll show you how to cook certain things that that he recommends in his how not to die cookbook in my kitchen here in in the house uh, and if you are interested in cookbooks and and exactly how to cook certain vegan meals comment below and I will be sure to put that out in the future in a product or, or free on YouTube or only on the Facebook uh, group biggest balls in the game balls with a Z um, yeah that's what I wanted to come clean in you know in terms of any negative energy or any kind of um, bad output I have done 
on YouTube or on social media. I apologize for all that. If you still have beef with me, if you still have certain questions or certain things that don't make sense that I've said, comment below. I will come clean in those as well if, if I actually need to. Because some things I've said that might have offended you, that's just too bad because it's the truth and I'm gonna continue to speak the truth. There's, there's nothing you can do about it. But if there's certain things that I've hurt you with uh, and, and you've become offended or, or, or kind of like sad or depressed, comment below and I'll read them. And if I do agree with, with the fact that I said something wrong or your interpretation was wrong because I didn't speak clearly, I will apologize for that and I will you know, be sorry and, and authentically, I do authentically care. I didn't care in the past, I'm, I'm being honest, I didn't care in the past. There were times in my life where all I cared about was making money. All I cared about was getting subscribers, getting views, making impact. But now, now, it's all about being real, being authentic, putting out content that I actually believe in. Right now, if you're listening to me, my soul is in the game. Not just skin in the game, my soul is in the game. When we do the seven day Facebook challenge, we just finished day four. I am waking up every morning at 3.55. I am meditating for an hour. I am posting Facebook Lives to prove what I'm doing. So my skin is in the game. What does that mean? That means if I don't do what I preach, I get hurt. You know, I'm not some doctor who's gonna prescribe statins for your, you know, dropping your cholesterol and then has all these side effects and I don't get hurt. I'm not gonna prescribe some Ritalin to you or some Adderall to you and, and you become addicted and I don't suffer, right? That's not having skin in the game. I have skin in the game. And not just that, I have soul in the game. My entire soul is in the game. I've sacrificed everything in my life, everything I do, all of my actions for this YouTube channel, our Facebook group, our social media guys, all the people that we're helping, all the feelings that I want to convey for real, my soul is in the game and you better fucking believe it. See you next time. This is Farhan. Comment below. Uh, if you have any questions, answer them in Fridays with Farhan in the next episode. And uh, yeah, add your ass to the Facebook group and like this video, thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, share it with your friends. Uh, if they might benefit from it, subscribe to the channel. Uh, so you can get notifications on future videos and uh, I'll see you soon.